Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up this week, a superbly polished mahogany on display in Saturday's Open Allowance 5 furlong sprint at Caymanus Park in Jamaica. Last year's TNT Dabu in Ahsoka Harmony is much the best in the Caribbean Champion Stakes at Santa Rosa Park. And we go up north for a pair of stakes wins for Barbadians, Safi Joseph Jr. and Rocco the Jocko Boyan in the USA. Plus the weekly stats on Caribbean success on the North American continent. Our opening story from Caymanus Park in Jamaica. Saturday's Open Allowance eighth race was among the main events on the weekend's double meet and Robert Hanadine is aboard the big favorite Mahogany looking for a quick rebound from his mid-October second place finish in the Philip Fiani Gold Cup. Number two Mahogany, a massive one to five favorite ahead of the US bred number six. Is that a fact on a four race winning streak and a seven to five bet here? Good support too for number three Jordan Reigns at nine to two. Let's get Bran Rickman's call now with Mahogany in front, aiming for the gate to wire win. The top weight Mahogany out in front. There goes Jordan Reigns now chasing. Freedom Street is there. Generational Justin behind them. Is that a fact? Is on the outside, hidden from view, and has made stealthy progress as they go flashing past the three. Forget Regal and Royal as the field now come toward the top of the lane. They leave the 516th behind them. Mahogany, is that a fact? Sneaking up on the outside. Freedom Street near the rail in between horses. Sandwich, that's Jordan Reigns. But the big horse Mahogany continues to take them along. The rider has a peep between his legs and is Mahogany in charge. Approaching the the furlong pole mahogany running fast and powerfully is that a fact left back on the rail having no answers to the kick of mahogany inside the final 16th it's mahogany and robert Halladine. they're all swallowing kickback from mahogany who eases down to win by maybe seven winning like a one to five favorite should Halladine in the saddle coasting home for the six-year-old gelding 16th career victory in 28 lifetime starts Mahogany by six and a half lengths, clocking a smart 59 and three fifths for five furlongs for trainer Ian Prasad. Is that a fact? The second favorite was second past the post, but disqualified and placed fourth. The weekend's richest race was Saturday's hovercraft sprint for two year olds. Let's see how the one to nine favorite, Digital One, does here with Rian Lewis up for trainer Jason Da Costa. As they lead the 516th and come into the lane. Digital One cruising on that lead. Under the hand ride. The rider motionless at the top of the lane. They leave the quarter pole with a lot in hand. Run, Julie, run, best of the rest. Blue Sensation is over on the rail, but it's all a Digital One. Coming up toward the final furlong. Digital One in complete control at this stage. Digital One and Rian Lewis. He looks as if he's sure to have his second win on the card inside the final 16th. It's all over. A Digital One has put paid to them all. Digital One winning it by maybe six lengths over run julie run one of two winners on the afternoon for leading jockey rian lewis who snapped a six race day winless streak as the philly digital one makes it two wins from two starts oakridge farms digital one with an unchallenged victory in the hovercraft sprint scoring by six and a quarter lengths as the one to nine favorite for trainer da costa chased by run julie run a seven to one bet in second 113 and two fifths the winning time for six furlongs Leading trainer Da Costa would have an even bigger day on Sunday with three wins including the Kimanis Park announcer's trophy providing him with a shock win for his seven horse take a punt. The four-year-old gelding looked almost hopeless here in about ninth spot at the top of the home stretch. Can they catch this Morimoto? He's determined and asked to open up the rider. Opens the throttle and Morimoto is a clear leader on the run to the furlong pole. Power ranking is over against the rail. Snowflakes is on the outside. Get a Pepsi in between horses and sunset silhouette coming at them wide. But it is a Morimoto out in front inside the final 16th. Morimoto and terrific Tevin Foster. They're beginning to tire. Can Morimoto hang on here? Is Tech up on flying on the outside with Reigns? Well, it's close. What a finish. Philip Parchment, among the most aggressive riders at Caymanus Park, gets the 10 to 1 shot take a punt to motor in the closing stages, reeling in the towering Morimoto. Parchment's been aboard take a punt for four of his five lifetime wins, and this victory closed the Costa's three timer. The 38 year old trainer, having scored earlier in the day with a two year old filly come home to me in the Anthony Tyson second race, and the three year old filly showgirl in the fifth race. To Trinidad and Tobago's Santa Rosa Park now, where the Caribbean Champion Stakes returned for the first time since 2019. A small field of seven, but three classic winners in there, Soka Harmony, Crown Prince and Just Exhale, plus former Horse of the Year, making headlines. As usual, champion trainer John O'Brien with a strong hand, and it's his 2022 double winner, Soka Harmony, and Guinness winner last year, Crown Prince, the leading duo 
heading for the home stretch. So it's Crown Prince and Soka Harmony. Just Exhale is making a giant move now and racing into that third spot. Just ahead of making headlines. Finishing touches going backwards. Pawana Putra is also under a ride. Princess Aruna is the trailer. They come out from the far turn. And Soka Harmony has just gotten the measure of Crown Prince. Just Exhale is right there. Then circling horses now at the top of the stretch they come. And it's Soka Harmony with the lead. Crown Prince on the inside. Just Exhale on the outside. Making headlines is running into that fourth spot. But Soka Harmony is pulling clear. Crown Princes have no response to his table mate. And Soka Harmony is pulling away from this field. Crown Prince is holding on to second. Making headlines is running a giant race. But Soka Harmony wins the Caribbean Champion Six. John Rupert on commentary. Eight career wins now for Soka Harmony, who snaps a three-race winless run. Three wins on the afternoon for champion trainer John O'Brien and reigning champion jockey Brand Boudram Singh, fresh from his first riding stint in Canada. The victory margin in the Caribbean champion stakes for Lester Moore's 6-5 bet Soka Harmony, 7 and 3 quarter lengths, easily beating stablemate and 3-5 favourite Crown Prince. The winning time for 9 furlongs, 155.47. Next to those two Barbadians takes wins in the USA. First, Safi Joseph Jr. at the Keeneland Racetrack in Lexington, Kentucky. Where his six-year-old Chile Bred O'Connor was a 5-1 to one bet here in Saturday's $350,000 Hagyard Fayette Stakes. Tyler Gaffleone in the orange cap is aboard, swinging wide into the five path to play his part in a riveting finish. They turn for home. Speed Bias and Law Professor. Il Miraculo is right there. O'Connor is there on the outside. Twilight Blue is now fifth. Here's O'Connor. Keeps moving forward. Takes a narrow lead. Speed Bias fights onto the inside. Il Miraculo in between that pair. These three at the 16th pole. O'Connor. Il Miraculo. Speed Bias. O'Connor with a head in front. O'Connor takes it! Tyler Gaffleone with a fine ride here. O'Connor's 11th lifetime win this. Nine of those victories in his native Chile, where he was a grade one winner. This though his first stakes win in the USA. The Haggard Fayet stakes over nine furlongs run in 150.61. O'Connor wins by a head for Safi Joseph's 14th stakes triumph this season. Safi has two runners in the Breeders' Cup meet in Santa Anita this weekend. And uh, the big $6 million classic will be live on Sportsmax Saturday evening. Rocco Bowen is now at the Mahoning Valley Racetrack in Ohio following the closure of the 2023 Thistledown season. And he's wasted no time in opening his stakes winning account. Aboard the 5-2 shot fair and square in Saturday's $100,000 Best of Ohio Endurance Stakes, the 34-year-old Bowen grabbed the lead coming off the final bend. And no one got close enough to challenge. 5 sixteenths to go and fair and square pounces, attacks, I want to win. Here comes Tantrum and Raven Moon together. Wicked Warrior is down along the inside and now Forewarned is gearing up, but he's still eight lengths behind fair and square. Fair and square turns for home and he's opening up now. And fair and square is a five length lead with a furlong to go. It's fair and square clear. Tantrum and I want to win with Raven Moon. They're battling for second. Then it's forewarned. Silence now rallies again, but fair and square with a monster effort today. Fair and square wins the Ohio Endurance. Bowen is unstoppable here with a huge victory by seven and a quarter lengths on an afternoon that saw Jamaica's champion trainer Jason DaCosta get a second place finish in the $100,000 Best of Ohio Distaff with his four-year-old filly R3 Angels. Fair and square as a 5-2 bet wins the best of Ohio endurance stakes with 9-1 shot tantrum chasing in second. 206-65 the winning time for 10 furlongs. Three wins this past week for Bowen including a victory Monday for Jamaican trainer Da Costa. Finally another jockeys championship win to report for Dane Nelson after his early September title win at Central Mile in Edmonton. The four-time Jamaica champion at Caymanus Park completed the quick double closing the center down season at Calgary as a number one rider. Bad weather scuppered the season-ending Saturday-Sunday cards at Central Downs, where Nelson had 12 weekend rides booked. Still, the 39-year-old topped the table with 18 wins in the seven-week season, five better than Barbadian Enrico Prescott and Tonya Whitehall, also from Barbados, joined fourth, giving Caribbean jocks three spots in the top five. Our weekly tally of wins now for Caribbean racing men in the USA and Canada before we go. I've counted since our last show in the past week, 31 wins. Among them, the ex-Jamaica champion jockey Anthony Thomas riding his first winner since moving to Gulfstream Park in Florida. He won for the Jamaican trainer Ruan Crichton, top Barbadian rider. 
Patrick Bommel Husbands had four wins at Canada's Woodbine Racetrack, two wins at Mahoning Valley for the Jamaican trainer Ricardo Bailey, and the veteran Jamaican rider Andrew Ramjeet, now 60 years old, had two wins at Mountaineer Park. We've been at the track covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.